So we covered two faceless characters. Now let's cover a named one. This time it's Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil 4. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Leon Kennedy first appeared in Resident Evil 2 back in 1998. However, his character truly became prominent with the release of Resident Evil 4 in 2005. Being a former police officer and later a US Stratcom agent, Leon Kennedy ticks all the boxes for an action hero. Try using knives next time. Works better for close encounters. So what's his loadout? Let's find out. Let's get some misconceptions out of the way. When I see people cosplaying as Leon, they usually assume that he's wearing jeans. And I see why they think that way. Due to the texturing, it may seem that he's wearing jeans at first, but in reality he's wearing blue tactical pants. The second misconception is the jacket. No, it's not a leather jacket but rather a shearling coat. In some cases, it's known as a sheepskin coat. When looking for the jacket, make sure that it does not have any shine to it, as seen in the examples here. It should have rough textured fabric. Most shearling coats look the same, so buying one that matches Leon's shouldn't be difficult. As an alternative, you can buy an accurate replica off eBay or an online store. Next up are the gloves. As far as I'm aware, they are sec black fingerless gloves, also known as the Miltech gloves. The same ones he used in Resident Evil 2. You can get these military gloves anywhere online or your local military surplus store. Or any military store in general, even airsoft stores have these. They cost anywhere from $15 to $30. Underneath the coat, Leon is wearing a grey diving suit. Accurate replicas are pretty easy to find. On the right leg, Leon has a universal drop leg holster. I'm not sure what company made it, however, replicas can be found on eBay for $15 or so. The shoulder holster that Leon is wearing is made of brown leather. The holster is also universal, however, to nail down this look, you just have to make sure that the holster has dual mag pouches on the side. Just be warned, such shoulder holsters may come at a price. No thanks, bro. To cut cost, you can remove this piece entirely if you're planning on wearing the coat all the time. Before I move on to the belt setup, I want to mention that Capcom did sell a licensed version of the belt. However, ironically, it's inaccurate to the game version. Which is why I recommend avoiding it. The belt that Leon is wearing doesn't seem to be based on any particular model. However, there are tactical belts out there that have similar appearance. The Cori X3 tactical belt seems to be a suitable fit. Now for the accessories of the belt. On the back of the belt is a butt pack, or a fanny pack, whichever you want to call it. This butt pack I found on Amazon should do the trick. It matches the visual appearance of the one from the game and it's fairly low cost. On the right side next to his belt, right above the leg holster, are dual mag pouches. You can find these almost anywhere online or any military store as well. Near the belt buckle, Leon has a clip-on flashlight. This piece you may need to create yourself, as I wasn't able to find anything even close to such a design. Going back, right next to the fanny pack, Leon has a small police utility or handcuff pouch. Such pouches are pretty easy to find, so there shouldn't be any difficulty. The silver ghost that Leon has at the start of the game is a fictional, and is based off multiple handguns. However, if you want to modify an existing handgun to match Leon's Silver Ghost as much as possible, I recommend modifying a replica of the HK USB 9C. For the boots, you can just get black tropical combat boots. For the knife, you'll need to find a leather holster to fit whatever knife you want, or just get a replica of Leon's knife from the game if you can find it and just quite literally strap the knife holster to the gun holster that he is wearing on his shoulders. 
And for reference, here are some pretty good Leon Kennedy cosplays. Links are in the description. Anyways, if you like this episode of my cosplay guide, be sure to- Help me, Leon! You know what to do.